Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Today we're going to be looking at our first part, our first dive into the accessibility tool in Acrobat Pro DC. Now, part one is going to be covering the basics and the theory of the tools. I'll just be showing you off all the tools and a description of what they do. But part two, we'll be getting into a, some examples of how to apply them to accessibility and making a document accessible. So let's get right into it. So the first option is auto tag our document. So every element of our document, which is visible under the content navigation pane, let's pin that to the side. So over here in content, as you might expect, we have everything that is contained within this document. So everything in content must be appropriately tagged in order to make our document accessible. So tagging just means identifying it as, you know, a paragraph, a heading, a figure, etc. And we can also look at the tags in its own little pane. So that's what this is over here. As you can see, every little element has been faithfully recreated in the tag structure. So but for any untagged content, then we would just click the auto tag document and that will tag any untagged content and tag it and add it to the pre-existing tag structure. But it looks like our document's looking pretty good as far as tags. Similarly, okay, so this is a great out right now, but if we had any form fields, this is not a form. But if we did, we could auto tag those form fields. Mm -hmm. Reading options, this just allows us to select our reading order or infer it. So we could infer the reading order from the document or use the tagged reading order, so they would just follow the tag structure to determine the reading order. So this is a pretty good option to use. As long as you have a good tag structure, you're going to be set. For your screen reader, your screen reader, your screen reader will read in the proper direction. But yeah, moving on. The full check, this is the biggest part of the accessibility tool. You just got to click this and you'll have some options for what the accessibility checker will check. And in my case, you want to check everything. So document, page content, forms, tables of lists, alternate text. So basically you want to check everything in order to make sure your document is fully compliant. So you just click that, you run it. And this is what the full check looks like. This little navigation panel on the left, the accessibility checker will pop up and it'll show your issues. Oh, I accidentally passed that, my bad. <laughs> but yeah. But we're not going to be looking at this today. We'll be covering how to fix all this stuff in part two. But just, just, to, know, just to let you know, the full check is what we run to check if the, thing, if the document is compliant, and then we can fix it from there. Similarly, the accessibility report is a more formal version of the full check. So we could refer to this as a certificate of a document being accessible. It goes through all the criteria, says if they pass or fail, and you can, you can view this separately as its own document, the accessibility report. Uh, identify form fields. So if this document were to have some form fields that you would like it to like to be created, you could click this. But this document is not designed to have form fields, so clicking this would be counterproductive. As you can see, we get a bunch of form fields that we don't really want. So we just won't do that. Okay, we're back. So we can also set our alternate text. So for any figures, any images in the document, we can set our alternate text. So it'll highlight an image. And basically, this is just telling a screen reader what to say when it encounters an image. So you could say Meridian Inc. logo, for example. This image that we have selected right now being the logo in the bottom left corner. So we could just go through the entire document and label them like that. Or just make it descriptive, a, a decorative figure. Setup Assistant, this is just a wizard that goes through various settings you can apply to assist your screen readers. So you have some options you can step through. So you can look at screen contrast, you can infer the reading order, and you can check out whether or not a screen reader should read page by page or just read the entire document at once. And lastly, reading order. So we've already kind of done this with the reading options, but you can manually switch around the reading order if you'd like. So here you would just click and drag in a you can click and drag some content and identify it as text, headings, artifacts, etc., whatever you want it to be, and that will be added to the reading order navigation pane. Let's get that open too. Order. So that's how that works. 
and that's all the tools, and that's all the theory behind the tools. But in the next part, we're going to put it into practice. So we're just going to use our accessibility tools into making a document more accessible. But until then, till next time, take care.